Welcome to From Scratch Ranch. Today is an exciting day. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. A couple months ago, we had a couple crates delivered and I had everybody guess in one of the videos what might be in those crates and no one guessed, but we're gonna open them up today and see what's inside. We've got the ceiling done, corrugated metal. We've got the floors done, concrete stain. The bar dominium is getting close to being done. We've got our two lofts complete, except one thing's missing. How are we gonna get up in there? Yep, that's what's in those crates. Two spiral staircases from Paragon Stairs, the DIY cabin loft space type spiral staircases that fit in small spaces. So we're gonna put two of them, one here and one here to get into the two different lofts. And in the center is where our wood burning stove fireplace is going to go all the way up. That's what this high wall is all about. Two staircases, spiral, and a fireplace in the middle. I got the two pallets, one staircase per pallet, per crate here. And we're gonna open this up and I can't wait because not only we're we gonna get these stairs up, which is the most exciting, but I'm also gonna get this space back in my barn. These things have been taking up space for the last few months and it's been driving me nuts because I really wanted to get these up. So here we go. So within each one of these boxes, we have the railing. We've got the plate for the pole that gets mounted to the concrete. We've got all of our treads and hardware. All right, here we got the platform, the landing platform for the top of the stairs. A railing. This is for the top of the stairs. All right. And another railing. Oh, all the balusters. That the railing attaches to. And all the treads. Yeah, pretty simple. Okay, there's all of the parts to the DIY spiral staircase. Starting with the main pole, super heavy. That's gonna be the pole everything goes on. All of our treads. We've got the plate to anchor the pole to the concrete. The top landing platform. The railings to go around the two corners of the platform at the top. We got the balusters attached to the tread and up to the railing and then the railing and then our hardware is in that box there so not not too much to it so we'll see how this goes yeah there's all the hardware so it came with a bag each per tread the lag bolts for anchoring the, the platform up top and also the base the vinyl handrail hardware the bottom baluster hardware the platform rail hardware so it's pretty organized all right i think we're ready to go well i got a helper i needed the help michaela just showed up to help me do some of this setup and also to help because it's heavy i came out of my sleeping cave yeah yeah <laughs> so the first thing we need to do is we need to put these set screws there's these four set screws that an allen wrench you know will tighten these down onto the pole uh, we need to put them 
in these holes right here. So I guess there's a bunch of them. Yeah. So each one of these has to go in and you just feel on the back side until you feel it. You don't want it to protrude in because we've got to put it over the pole and then we're going to tighten it down. But they've just got to all be put in. So there's four per tread and these are the treads for yours, your staircase. But then we got over there, we're going to have just as many more. So there's quite a bit to do. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. And they're all in these individual bags right here. So each bag has the set screws in them. So just pull out the set screws and leave everything else within this bag so we don't get them all mixed up and loose laying around, okay? Mm -hmm. And we'll just set these bags aside. Okay, so, yep, take that set screw and just you, yep, put it in there and get it started with the Allen wrench. Until you can feel it with the other finger. And then once you feel it, then back off just a little bit. Unless it's good. Okay, good. Yep. You got it? Mm -hmm. How's it going? Good. Good? I have three left. Three left on this set. So I've got the other one now, all laid out over here. So now we got two. This one's, this one's not as nice and organized as that one over there was. It's a little annoying because they like to, they don't like to catch on the thread sometimes. Oh, it's because of the paint. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, I mean, it's fine. I mean, I'm not like bored to death yet. <laughs> so. platform and then we pull the next one up and the next one up and the next one up as we tighten them as we go. That, that way that'll hold that and then we can get the rest figured out, okay? All right, so we gotta figure out the positioning of that platform. And I think the first step Here we go. Let me get those tightened down so we got the right level here. Then it won't slide down and then we can get this bolted into this joist here. Okay, so it's got to go in just a little bit more. 
faster. When the railing gets on here, we're gonna wanna be able to put our hand on the railing all the way up. So we just need enough space here to do that. And also as I get the railing, and hopefully I can get the screws in and all that on the railing. Okay, I think this is it. I think we're gonna mount it right here. Gotta shake it. All right, you don't have to hold it anymore. <laughs> I'm putting this lower hole here because this higher hole, kind of getting up into the subfloor and I don't want that. So I'm drilling my own holes lower into the bottom of this platform. I can hang from it. <laughs> Sit on it. All right, we got all these steps uh, in somewhat position. We still have to measure and get them all right, but I'm just trying to get the pole um, plumb first, and then I'm gonna anchor it into the concrete, and then we'll adjust the height of all of these. So just checking for plumb. It's looking good. All right, we're good. Let's uh, drill our holes and anchor this thing in. All right, I don't wanna go too deep, I'm gonna measure that. So I've got three inch screws, Tapcon screws that are gonna go out. There's a three eighths inch by three inch. It's the same size it came with the staircase, um, except that what came with it was lag, were lag bolts that are meant for wood. Um, since I'm going to concrete, I'm just using these Tapcon screws. And I think I might go just a little bit deeper, deeper just for make sure I got enough. Yeah, it's plenty deep. These is not fitting through that hole. Tapcon screws are 3 8 inch, which this is a 3 8 inch hole for the 3 8 inch lag bolt that came with it. But these threads, I think, are just slightly aggressive, more aggressive, and, they're, and it just doesn't fit into the hole. I mean, just barely. So if you do the same thing as I'm doing here, you're gonna have to drill that hole out in the steel just a little bit wider so that these Tapcon 3 8 inch screws can go in. All right, we got our base anchored into the concrete. Now we have to align all of the treads. So what I need to do is measure from the top of the top platform to the concrete. And so we are at 108 inches, 108. So I need to then divide that 108 inches by the number of treads we have, including the platform. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So that's easy math. 108 divided by 12 is nine. So I've got nine inches. So I need to make sure each one of these from top to top is nine inches. And so just I just randomly set these up, just kind of guessing to get them in kind of position. So this one is eight and three quarters. So I just need to move it down a quarter of an inch. And then we'll put this baluster in to start there and then we'll work our way down. Measure, adjust, baluster. Measure, adjust, baluster. 
This first one set right, and now we've got our baluster, and it has the angle here. This is where the, the rail will sit in here, so we wanna make sure that this is angled this way going down. And then we slide this in. It's got two holes, one here and one here. This hole here is to attach to the tread and this hole into this platform. So we're just gonna slide this in this way into the hole that's in the top here. And then there's a slot back here. This gives us wiggle room, you know, to adjust depending on the, the height. So we'll take the carriage bolt with the lock-in square on the head there and put it in this side. And that's gonna lock that in so you don't need to have a wrench or anything in there. Then we've got our washer, our lock washer, and our nut. Okay, I'm just gonna hand tighten that for now because now we have to line this up. There's a hole here for, to go into the platform. There's no holes in the platform. So the instructions say we have to drill a hole through the platform uh, which is where this will line up. So that's not in the center there. So I'm gonna raise this up. And just get it positioned just right. Okay, and then I'm gonna have to drill a hole through there and then I can put my carriage bolt there to secure that. The carriage bolt is a quarter inch in size. So I'm using a uh, next size up bit from that, which was like a 17 64ths or something like that. Just to give it a little extra room for that quarter inch bolt. Okay, now I'm gonna put the lag bolt through this side instead of the back side because this part shows. So I want that to look nice there. Now what's interesting is this all shows. I mean, even down here, there's no caps or anything. So the hardware underneath still shows because you're looking underneath the stairs. So the second one is eight and a half. So I need to come down a whole half inch. I might have to turn it still, oops, and I forgot to tighten these totally down. Now that that first one's in place, then I gotta go back and really tighten these set screws in. Okay, so now, nine inches, nine inches, ready for the next baluster. Just slide, there's a hole in the top here, so it just slides in. Line it up, slides in. Okay, so now we have a slot on both the back side of this tread and the front side of this tread. Let's get some, let's get some bolts in it and then we'll adjust it. Yeah. Got it? Hand tighten? Finger tighten. Finger tighten, okay. So now let's get, make sure it's plumb. This way is plumb. Really? This way is not, it's close. Okay, so this is a push. Too much? Too much. Right there? Yeah. Right there, okay. And we're plumb all the way around? Yep. You sure? I'm pretty sure. Okay. I am sure. I'm tightening it down. It's gonna come up. Can you lift it? For this last baluster that we're putting in the, the last tread here that connects to the floor, there's a plate that will 
that the baluster will sit into and it needs to be cut according to the instructions by one and a half inches off the bottom. The holes don't line up either. So this hole here needs to line up to where it will um, attach to the tread here. So I need to go out and cut one and a half inches off of this baluster. And just to make sure. Lines up nice. Now we can swing this back over. And tighten that back up. All right, now we can put the last baluster in. Floor plate secured, the last tread put back in place, and then the baluster on. Slide that in. All right, next step, the handrail. Final railing, I went for the cheaper option, the more economical option. They had a an aluminum railing that I could have bought, but it was quite a bit more expensive. So. This is gonna be interesting. Wrestling this. This is gonna be fun. Okay, I got it at the general position. It looks like there's quite a bit of excess on both ends. I can just kind of guesstimate where this is gonna be, give myself plenty down here. And so I'll just drill a hole right about there. A three eighths, three eighths inch bit. I'm just getting that excess plastic off there or vinyl. Okay, so now I'm gonna feed this screw. Okay, so I've got the screw through there and then now the wing Now I can push this through the hole. Okay, popped it in. Now I'll tighten it down. Okay, come back and tighten these down as I get it into position. So it gives me a little bit of, there we go. Great. All right, I'm about halfway up the stairs now. It's looking pretty good. And I think I've got it dialed in now. So I'm using my Dremel with a little bit on the end to mark it, because I can get the Dremel bit through that little hole there and onto the railing. So make sure everything's lined up. And then I'll take my drill with a 3 8 inch bit. using that hole from the Dremel as a guide. Here 
take my razor blade, shave off the excess. Okay. Then I take my screw, put it through the hole of the baluster. And then the wing, screw that on. Okay. Close the wings, push it through. Until you get it in there and tighten the screw. The wing will catch. Pull it tight. Done. So, not too bad. Once you get the hang of it and get the process down, you can whip it out pretty quickly. All right, so I got almost all the way up and you can see there's a gap between the, the handrail and the top of the baluster here. I could push this down a little bit, but I have room here. There's these slots. So I can actually push these up, you know, loosen these bolts. That's why I didn't tighten everything down super, super tight. Tight enough to use the stairs, but um, not all the way tight so I can undo it quickly and raise that up as high as I can get it. I've got the handrail all installed all the way up. Now I just have to cut the excess off both ends. So it's supposed to be three inches past. It looks about right. I think it'd be a little bit longer. Yeah. Okay, now I'll go cut the one upstairs. Okay, now we just have these two side railings to put on. This really is DIY. I just gotta drill my own holes. Because it didn't come with any instructions either? And it didn't come with instructions for the railing part, right? Okay, you can come in, Michaela. What do you think? That's good. You can get up in your loft now. Yeah. Without using a ladder. Yeah. That's really good. You gotta try it out. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. There's one last thing that needs to be done. I shall do the You need to cap it off. Done. It's complete. Yay. All right, we got our first spiral staircase installed by Paragon Stairs, DIY model, and it looks fantastic. Michaela finally has a way to get up into her loft, as you can see. It looks great, it works great, it works way better than I thought it was gonna work. The size is perfect. It's small enough to fit in this small barnuminium, and uh, it looks great, and it's still big enough to get up around the spiral without a problem. It might be a problem carrying big things up there, but I think we're gonna be okay. So now that we got that one done, we learned a lot from what we did on that one. We've got a second one to install, and that's gonna be over here on the master loft side, where I've already got the pole up here and I've got all the parts up there, and we're ready to install that one. Hopefully that's gonna go a lot faster because we learned from the first one on the whole process.
and plumb. We're in good shape. Now we can set the treads. Cool, huh? Huh? It was, like it was like fireworks. All right, these are the master stairs. We'll take a quick walk up them. Yeah, not bad. They really don't take up a whole lot of room. And fairly easy to get up and down. Well, that's a wrap on the spiral staircase install. We got both of them installed, the one up to Michaela's loft and then the other one up to the master loft there. So it turned out great. Uh, the symmetry of this is just fantastic. When we get the wood burning stove and that stove pipe all the way up the middle there, it's gonna just finish it out really, really nice. So it added a great touch to what this barn dominium is gonna be all about. It looks fantastic. So these are the Paragon DIY uh, 36 inch spiral staircase and there's a link down below if you're interested from Paragon stairs um, but it they turned out great it was not that difficult to install these so I would recommend them um, they look fantastic and they are a, a lot more functional than I thought they would be I thought you know being a 36 inch uh, diameter it was gonna be too tight to get up those stairs but for, for us, it's, it's not too bad. So um, you can easily get up and down those stairs without a problem. All right, well with that, hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. Hopefully you learned something about how to install these spiral staircases. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already so you can keep up to date on everything that we're doing out here at the ranch. Also be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram to see more recent posts of what's going on out here. So until next time, you know what to do. Keep living the dream. See you next time.